like maybe right now <laughs> wow <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> as soon as i said that like i would switch lanes right now if it was me it did it a little hey let me deactivate it <laughs> i don't want <laughs> i don't want it to end up in the back of that truck man nah 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 what's up guys back with another exciting video for you guys this one is going to be fsd 12.4.3 and this is going to be pretty exciting because this update has no nags. So I think you don't have to put your hands on the wheel. So we're going to see how that goes. But you do have to pay attention. Keyword, pay attention, okay? So over here we have Cherry. This is my 2023 Tesla Model Y long range. This is what started my whole journey with Tesla. Over here we have my Cybertruck. <laughs> Cybertruck doesn't have FSD as yet, so we're gonna have to use the Model Y. This car is pretty awesome, guys. Trust me, one of the best EVs you can get right now. Here we go, guys. New version 12 software update. So here it is. You have this beautiful UI right here looks like a video game you know like when you play need for speed and you customize your car and all that good stuff yeah everything is laid out pretty good now let's go on a drive all right guys so right now we're at walmart and we're gonna do some um auto park test before we do the full self-driving test real quick so right here there's a parking spot let's see how fast this thing is pulls up okay Hmm, not bad. Pretty good. Could be faster, but still pretty good. Nice and straight in the row as well. Look at that and see it. All right, now let the fun stuff begin. This is my first time using FSD 12.4.3. So this latest software update. So this is gonna be my um, real time first impression of this new system. So let's go navigate to McDonald's. And let's see, we could go to this one right here. I always go to this one in my um, FSD road, road test. So it should take 12 minutes and let's activate it and see what it does. So 12 minutes to go 7.6 miles to McDonald's. So activate, be attentive, keep your hands on the wheel. So I guess you do have to keep your hands on the wheel. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not gonna put my hands on it and see if it's gonna nag. <laughs> but follow the warnings, okay? Whatever it tells you to do, you do, don't follow me. Please pay attention to the road. Yes, I'm looking at the road. Guess it has this green light right here. That's now new. Turn right onto Club Pond Road. Okay, it's stopping. Now turn left onto Fayetteville Road. Looking good so far, looking very good. Okay, we got the green light now. Let's see. Okay. Pretty good. <laughs> My hands are not on the wheel. This road is 55. It's not 40, so let's increase that speed real quick. Not sure why it does that, and it shows it at 40 miles per hour, but the speed limit on this road is 55. But I really like how Tesla listened, and they added this mini map right here. Pretty good feature. So in my previous um, road trip videos that I did, I asked, you know, hey guys, could you... Yes, I'm paying attention to the road. <laughs> So what I'm noticing right now, if I take my eyes like for a split second to look over here at the minimap, 
It's saying, pay attention to the road. It's not telling me to put my hands on the wheel. It's just saying, so I guess it wants you to be looking straight ahead. <laughs> not even for a second or two. So anyways, I'm still looking at the road, but I'm going to, you know, point over here. So this mini map here, um, I asked. That's way before they came out with that on the Cybertruck and I asked, hey, could you guys do a mini-map? Because when you're in FSD, it was hard like this. You're trying to look at the road and then to open it back, you got to pull that big old map on the screen. So it would have been neat to have it right there. So they listened and they added. So thumbs up, Tesla. Thank you for always listening to your customers. Come on, let's increase the speed a bit. I have it set to 60, but it's going 48. I'm going to manually press the accelerator pedal and try to get up to 60. There we go. So far, so good. I do like the improved visuals. It looks a lot more finished. hands are not on the wheel but I'm looking straight ahead as it recommends it's going 54 I'm gonna try to increase the speed a bit let's go 60 there we go Now I'm not pressing the accelerator pedal or the brake or anything. What is it doing? Oh wow, ooh, hard brake. <laughs> wow, that was pretty hard. At the red light. <laughs> but it stopped, it didn't run it, so that's good. Nice visuals, look at that. See everything. I like how when it comes to like a stoplight, it goes up into like this aerial view. That's pretty neat. Instead of, you know, having like a straight on view. Then once it goes through it, it's gonna go back down to that, you know, straight, straight on view. Like that, pretty cool. Acceleration from that stoplight was pretty smooth as well. It wasn't overly aggressive or anything. So even though I have it set to 60, it's still going around 56. So let's increase it to 60. There we go. Now let's try to do a lane change. So I'm gonna signal to the left. See how it does this lane change. Pretty good, nice and smooth. Hey, I'm noticing man, if you, if you look anywhere on your screen for a split second, that message pops up. Pay attention. <laughs> but that's good. At least it's making sure you're, you know, eyes on the road at all times. But there's no nags. I didn't have to put my hands on the wheel or anything like that. I just have to remain focused. Pretty good. Good job, FSD team, the overall Tesla team, everybody. Pretty good stuff. I've been wanting to take it out for a drive, but I've just been so busy just driving my Cybertruck around. So exciting and fun to drive. If you guys haven't been in a Cybertruck as yet, trust me, go to your um, local Tesla 
and see if they have one in the showroom you guys can sit in or anything or if you have a friend that has one you know see if you can get a drive or a ride along it's pretty fun so 55 let's increase that to 60 guys <laughs> this is impressive FSD 12.4.3 wow this is super impressive <laughs> and it's night mm, impressive no craziness going on it's not jerking it's not, you know, nothing funky, no phantom braking or anything like that. It's nice and smooth. Wow. So we should be making a, there we go. Yep, a right turn in about a mile. So we're gonna see how long it takes to get over into the right lane. That's always been a thing with previous versions where it waits till the last minute to get over. So we're gonna see what it do in this version. Speeding up on its own. Okay, this right turn is in a half a mile. Let's see. If it was up to me, I would um, switch lanes already. Like maybe right now. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> As soon as I said that, like, I would switch lanes right now if it was me, it did it. That's just so crazy. So, yeah, it's doing as a normal driver would. So, nice. <laughs> That's crazy. And you guys witnessed that on the screen, <laughs> on video, just as I was saying it. Wow. Now turn right onto okay, so here's the right turn. Nice, it turned on the turn signal. You guys can watch my previous videos and see how it did on this exact same route in previous versions. Did some crazy stuff. You guys can go watch those videos. Now turn left nice. onto Good Midland Drive. Wow. Pretty impressive. Arrived at McDonald's. Let's now see. Okay. It's signal. There's a car ahead. It's waiting. Good job. It's gonna wait on this second car as well. Pretty good. That's good. I don't like when it tries to rush out. Take your time and do things right. Perfect. Wow. Autopilot navigation complete. <laughs> we got to McDonald's. Impressive. Now in previous versions, it brought me um, straight around. Let's see what it's going to do here. Okay, so it stopped right here, guys. <laughs> okay. Wait, it's going. I didn't touch it. It's going by itself. Now your destination is on the left. Let's see.
Good. Yeah, previous version, stop back there and see what this is going to do. Whoa, that's mighty close to that truck. I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at that. That's a little. Hey, let me deactivate it. I don't want <laughs> I don't want it to end up in the back of that truck, man. Nah, nah, nah. So good job. Hey, that's pretty impressive. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel for more Tesla content. If you want to see more FSD videos with the Model Y, please let me know. I'll also be doing a lot more Cybertruck content as well, so you guys can subscribe for that. But if you guys truly enjoy these nighttime drive FSD videos, all you have to do is just comment, let me know, and I'll make the videos happen. If you guys don't comment and say, yeah, do them, then I just take it as nobody is interested. So keep me motivated. You know, you guys want to see it. Let me know what you want to see and I'll make it happen. OK, I go based on the feedback of the community and the subscribers. So as always, now thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.